Hey guys, Phil here with another kind of <laughs> Ruby on Rails talk. And I say kind of because, you know, last time I did this video about Docker. And I admitted that I didn't really know Docker and never really used it. Um, so I, I discovered that I could use Docker to run multiple kinds of databases and services that my Rails apps used. I could use that on my local machines. So I didn't have to faff about with configuration because I was struggling a little bit with different versions of Postgres and then MySQL and I had to have certain versions of this and that and the other. So I set up a Docker thing. That worked great to be honest and I'm using that now all the time uh, for my databases because you can persist the data locally, everything. Great about it. So I thought, you know, uh, and somebody asked me, well, what about deploying your Rails apps in production using Docker? And I thought about that and kind of in production, it's the other way around, isn't it? So I have a Rails app and I have my database and everything. They're hosted, managed databases. I use those because why wouldn't I have someone else look after it? So I've got my uh, Postgres in some cases, my MySQL in some cases. Uh, running on managed services and everything else running on its own dedicated server. And then I thought, oh, you know, I could containerize some of these apps. I've got a bunch of these small uh, Rails sites out there I could, that are running on their own servers and I could containerize those and then maybe I could run them on their own one on just on one server, multiple Rails apps because, you know, Docker is like some kind of magic flute that lets you get more from less. So I thought, you know, like with most of my stuff on here, I, I, for stuff I didn't know, I went out and I looked on the internet and I said, okay, somebody's going to talk about how you use Docker to deploy production Rails environments. And I found nothing. I could not find a single example where somebody walked you through a Rails Hello World and uh, put that up on a remote server using Docker. Not one. Not a single example. And that made me wonder. So I thought, well, I'll try it myself. And there's a couple of different ways you can do Docker. And one is you can put all the server up, uh, put all the code up on the server, and then basically go in and start Docker Compose or whatever. Uh, in that directory on the server and let it build and run. So you don't actually make a container. Uh, you just run Docker Compose like you would on your local machine. You run it on the server. Um, that's tricky to do in production because of dependencies and Webpacker and things like this. We're not talking about Rails 7, we're talking about Rails 5 and 6. So that, I spent two days looking at that and um, I could get Capistrano to go up there and deploy my code and I had some rake tasks and Capistrano tasks that did everything I thought and it just would not run or compile properly. So I thought, okay, there's the other way you can do this and that is to build a container, an image, and put that image into a Docker repository and then go onto the server, pull down the image and just start it. And that sounds easy, right? Like that sounds the best way because you're not having to do anything and you just pull down the image and start it. Again, dependencies got me. So I don't know if this is my ignorance of Docker. It's, I don't think it's my ignorance of Rails because I'm doing this like every day deploying, right? Um, so I ended up not being able to do it. Basically, I could not get a Rails app to run in production using Docker, using either uh, SSHing in and starting Docker Compose or creating a Docker image and getting it up onto production. I could not find anybody who'd ever done it. I found some people who wanted to sell me a course on how to do it and excuse me, if you need a course to do this, then why are you doing it? I have another video that I'll link to or whatever if I'm clever enough um, that shows you how to deploy to production and that works. It takes about 20 minutes to set up the server, get your code up and get it running and uh, it works every time. And you're in production here. Why are you trying to containerize it? This is production. You should be making money from this service. Run a server. A server costs you 40 bucks a month. Run a server to start 
and, and put your app up there? Why are you trying to containerize it? I can't think of a single benefit. I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. I couldn't think of a single benefit. It certainly doesn't, isn't any faster or better. Now, some people, the way they run production, is that every time they do a deploy, they fire up a new instance and they put the code on that. And I don't do that. To me, that seems crazy um, because it, it, it's just you have to manage all these instances and everything like that. And people say, well, that's why you need Docker because it makes it so easy. It's like, you know what? Every day I smash myself in the face with a hammer and I found a way to make the hammer softer. It's like, just stop smashing yourself in the face with a hammer. Uh, I reuse my instances. Now with Zonmaster, which is, you know, been going for six years, made millions of dollars, had thousands and thousands of customers, we reuse our instances. I have only ever had to expand to, to add more instances in. I have never had to cycle my instances every time I do a deploy. So maybe this is a bit of a rant video because I don't understand why you would want to do a deploy like that. It just sounds to me like a solution looking, uh, you know, it's like an answer looking for a question. There's no real reason to do it like that. So that's my video for today. <clears throat> Docker, production, Rails, don't use it. Maybe it's going to be controversial and a bunch of you cool kids are going to say, oh no, you're totally you're an old man, you don't understand what you're doing and blah, blah, blah. Well, the only thing I can say is I have been doing this for a long time. I am an old man, but I've made a lot of money doing it and it works the way I do it and I can't see a single downside to what I'm doing and I can deploy an app in five minutes. So, and from scratch in about 20 minutes. So there you go. Um... Maybe this is not going to be a popular video. Next time, I'm going to do something happy. I'm going to do Rail 7. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. <laughs> no one's going to like or subscribe or hit the bell notification on this video. But I just had to get it out of my system. I am done with Docker on production. Great in development environment. Great to run your services like that. Crap for other things. Talk to you soon.